Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, March 1st. March 10th, folks, is when the clocks spring forward. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Excuse me, folks. I had too many peanuts before I got on. <laughs> Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you, have, you are learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 57, NASDAQ up 179, SP's up 38. Gold, gold contract up $38.40, trading at 2093 an ounce. We had silver up 50 cents, $23.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 69, $79.95 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 18 ticks, trading 111 flat. 30 year up 25 at 120.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 264 ticks, trading at 103.891. Euros 108. Yen's at 150. British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you're going to new highs. You're in the middle of winter. Well, you're not even in the middle of winter dressing. You're at the beginning of winter dressing, okay? You had that consumer confidence come out this morning, and that was weak. So bad news is good news for the market. <laughs> It seems like it's whatever kind of news has been good news for the market, folks. But the bottom line is that uh, consumer confidence went down the first time in three months, and that exploded the market topside. So yesterday, yeah, check this out yesterday. This is, I'm going to do this first because this is pretty wild. We were watching the volume come in, and we knew that it came in at the close. But what do you see the volume that came in? It's pretty amazing. So on the NYSE, right, we did 1.8 billion shares. That's, like, amazing, folks, okay? We were, we were doing, so someone came in, like, with a billion shares at the end, okay? You talk about window dressing. And then in the NASDAQ, what happened, we're in the 6.5, I think. 6.428. Did it in both of them, which is just amazing, man. So, you know, you go higher, you get an expansion in volume, guess what, man? <laughs> higher you go. We can take a look at the three Qs. What do we have with the three Qs out here? Qs are up uh, seven and a half, six and a half dollars, and they got price spread, man. You know this. This is this is this not this is not only broke topside. This broke topside with some juice behind it. So higher we go. We go take a look at the uh, note market, and it's all going. The only thing that hasn't been going with the market yet, and watch, we'll see it go next week, is the dollar. You know the note and bond market. This is you know that's the end of that correction. Bottom line is that we got the 10-year up 18 ticks, 2.3 million contracts, and this has wide price spread too. Now this is like this is going to get interesting. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, it's close. It has. It, we need like another day like this to break the downtrend from the top. It's right at the line now. If you're watching Tiger TV, you can see it. And I discounted the that spike that got up there for two days, but you, you're right at right at the line. Gold, gold's on its way. And we'll see how it reacts when we get up to the 2150, 2200 mark. Right now, it's good action, man. You know, right now, you have the aspect that you have broken the downtrend. And that would be saying that gold's on its way to, what, that's 2100? Yeah. 2074, actually. No, it's not. It's 2174. Yeah, 21, we're at 2092 right now. Uh, we go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. It's in the whole market. Uh, take a look at the GDX. That's we've we've done 32 million shares. You're up uh, 87 cents. I mean, you take a look at this. This is what see. It's just not one move like we're talking about here. What it is is that what we already did is that we already tested the strength. We did it with lighter volume, and then you can accelerate up. And that's what you want to see, folks. Okay. So we've been in this large consolidation. We've been in this consolidation for almost. What is this? Let's see. This is a weekly. Let's see, half a year. But that's on a smaller basis. If I put this on a larger basis, on a monthly, you can see that we've been in this consolidation for, yeah, this, the lower consolidation, the same thing. 
happen? Well, one, two, no, that's, that's almost two years. That's almost two years. So if we get some follow through here, um, we're going to really have some big action. And the dollar. We go over to this dollar. We take a look at this dollar. What you have with the dollar is that you still haven't broken into the lower range. So we take a look at this. See, there's bent up demand inside the gold market. That's what you have happening here because this hasn't broken into the lower range yet. We were lower yesterday and there was no juice, but we get action happening. You know, the lower range inside the dollar is 103, approximately 500 area. And we've hit 103, 800. <coughs> and at that particular point, it just stopped on its tracks. We're going to take a look at the, well, they're all going to have volume, XAU. We don't get the volume for the XAU and the HUI until tonight. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, look at that price spread, man. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah, the whole downtrend is broken. And this is how you have to break a downtrend or an uptrend it, 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 if you are going to get follow through. It's wide price spread, accelerated volume. And let's go to the gold bugs index. It's going to look the same way. Yep. Same deal. And you know, it, it's inter what's interesting here, the steepness of the fall and the XAU and the HUI did make this easier. But the bottom line is, is that whether it's easy or not easy, you, had the wide, you have the wide price spread and the accelerated volume. And when you know what's so interesting, folks, Newmont was the biggest dog out there. It still is, actually. But Newmont did come off its lows yesterday. You know, it gapped higher yesterday. And let's go put this back and we look at this thing for a second. Put it, I'll put it on a monthly. It was coming down with lighter volume. But man, this thing was getting wrecked. Well, it did get wrecked. Now it was getting wrecked. Yeah, but look at that, man. This is crazy when you see this. Look at what it did. Unreal. I'm telling you, volume is where it's at, folks. It's like sick. You see what I just did there, that line? Look at that volume. Came right into that volume. It's lighter volume. It rejected lower price. And guess what? Now we go higher. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Dow, Dow Industrial's up 57, NASDAQ up 180, S&P's up 39. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.